I'm Janika Hamper with Hamper Hacks and today you are in store because I am going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a Capri Sun label using a Cricut machine and a Canva account. With that, let's get into it. To get started, you'll need a few things. You'll need a Cricut machine, a Canva app. You can use their free account or use a professional version. You'll need vinyl sticker paper as well as clear sticker paper. You'll need an inkjet printer. If you don't have an inkjet printer, you can use a laser printer, but the quality will not be the same. And you'll need Capri Suns or Kool-Aid jammers. Okay, here I'm in the Canva app. Um, I'm in through the browser. They also have a desktop app you can download. And in here, I have the size of 3.25 by 4.75. This will cover the actual um, design print that's already on a Capri Sun or Kool-Aid Jammer. If you want to go the full size of the actual Capri Sun, then I recommend doing 4 by 5 and so in Canva, it, you can really design whatever you want to design. So here, since I was making my Capri Sun label for my daughter's sixth birthday party, um, and her birthday party was at a horse ranch, I essentially found a design online that I liked and just kind of replicated it and added Happy Birthday Phoenix on here. Um, so yeah, so this is what I did. I You're able to put your measurements. They have all different types of elements and you could do uploads and different templates and styles that you want to do. And so this was the first part of designing is by doing it in Canva. And then after that, you're able to download it. So after I had the design, the next step I did was to actually download the file itself to my desktop. And from there, we're going to take this and open up the actual Cricut app. All right, I'm in the Cricut design app and I am in a new project, which opens up to be a new canvas. And I'm going to upload the recently downloaded Canva image. So I'm going to click upload image. I'm going to browse. Now, when I click on upload image, it asks me for the image type. If it's simple, which has high contrast colors, if it's moderately complex or if it's complex. I generally select complex, but I wanna show you the difference between the two. Now, if I do simple, notice how it doesn't really show all the colors or the details of the flowers. And if I click on moderately complex, it looks about the same. So usually complex is usually what I want to select because it will always show the details of the flowers, the different colors. So nine out of 10 complex is usually my go-to option. For here, I want to click continue. Now, if I didn't want this pink background and only wanted the horseshoe, the horse, um, the flowers and the banner with the blue trim, then I could do the background remover. But because this is for a Capri Sun label, I want this entire image. So I don't want to do the background remover. So with that, I'm going to do apply and continue. Now I can cut the image since this is an entire image, but I don't want to do that because there's nothing else. If I was doing just a cutting image, where I wanted to just cut flowers or something like that, then I would use the cut image, but this is truly a print then cut design I'm doing. So with that, I'm going to select the print then cut image and then select upload. Now that this image is uploaded, I can select it and add it to my canvas. Now, the first thing I want to do is fix the size on this. I am going to do 3.5 by 4.5 or maybe 3.5 by 5. And then I want to lock in that measurement. 
And here I have my image in here. The next thing that I want to do is I want to add a circle. and place it in the center like so. And I can also align it horizontally or center horizontally. And now that we select the image and the circle, I'm going to slice it And what that does is it will essentially cut out the circle. So I can now remove the circle that I once created. And now I have what is essentially what I'm going to print out. And then once I feed it into my Cricut, the Cricut will know to cut out this hole, which will be used for the hole that lines up to the Capri Sun or Kool-Aid Jammer where the straw will go in. Now, to make sure that I'm not wasting any of this vinyl sticky paper, I can make multiple labels on one sheet of paper. So what I can do is just copy and paste. Um, and now that I have two, usually for Capri Sun or Kool-Aid Jammers, you can do two to three labels on one sheet believe I can do three. So let's see if I can. And now that that's there, the next step to do is to click on make it. All right. So it looks like I cannot do three. I can only do two. So I can cancel out of this and I can remove one. And now I can click on make it again. And so the first, since this is a print then cut, I will print this, connect it to my inkjet printer, and this will print it out first. And after I have it printed out onto the sticky paper, then I will add it to my Cricut adhesive board and then from there, I will load it in and Cricut will then cut out this label and also cut out the hole. So with that, let's take a look at it. Now that we've printed out the Capri Sun label, the next step is to take the clear sticker paper and we're going to apply it on top of, the, of this printed out only to make it where the Capri Sun label is waterproof. With kids drinking Capri Suns, they may spill some of their juice. And so it's imperative that these labels are waterproof. And in order to do that, that is why I use clear sticker paper that I apply on top of this. And then from there, we can load it into the Cricut machine to actually cut out these labels with the hole for the straw. Welcome to the good part. Yay! After you've printed out your label, you can select I've already printed. Then step two is to set your base material. You can do the printable sticker paper, or if you have a thicker paper, sometimes I will do heavy cardstock to cut through the paper easily. Um, next, you want to make sure that your tools and your Cricut machine is already set up. And if so, then you just hit the Cricut button on your machine to load it in and you're all set to go.
Well guys, that's it. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share the video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Hand for Hacks. Thanks for watching. As a reminder, make sure that you click the bell icon beside the word subscribe so that you can stay in the know whenever a new video is released.